I've just set up this adjustable desk that can transition between both states. I've also got this weird looking fluid stance board. I'm gonna try this water reminder app. Didn't even know this was a thing till a couple of months ago. A smart mattress. I'm also gonna test out the slender tone belts plus this vibration plate. Technology is becoming a bigger and bigger part of our everyday lives. It has wiggled itself into almost every aspect of our daily routines, from waking up in the morning to making your first cup of coffee. Even our social lives now somewhat gets dictated by tech. We have become so dependent on it, one could even say that we as humans have evolved into a new age technological species. But is this a bad thing? I think not. The latest tech brings so many promising advantages, especially in the health and weight loss industry, where I spend most of my career. So the question is, which of the latest tech devices can actually help you lose weight? Might I even say, get in the best shape ever? Hmm. Well, that's what today's video is all about. Like many people out there, I'm a very tech-obsessed guy. From the latest Apple products through to the coolest camera gear. I want it all. But when it comes to body transformations and the science behind that, I'm pretty analog. I'm a big believer that the core principles of weight loss remain a high-protein, low-carb diet with plenty of active time in between. However, I am aware that these principles can be pretty challenging to uphold in your lifestyle. So that's where tech comes in, and it can definitely have a positive impact in your life. Now, I unfortunately don't have all the latest tech, but luckily for me, the very popular YouTuber, Mr. Who's the Boss, recently did a self-experiment where he challenged himself to use as much tech as possible to completely transform his body and lifestyle in just 100 days. So let's look at what he used and whether it actually helped him. Firstly, Mr. Who's the Boss looked at his daily routine and added as much active time in there as possible. So instead of sitting at his desk the whole day, he got a standing desk. In my opinion, he was off to a great start. I believe this is such a great additive to your daily routine that I myself have a standing desk. He then went on to add a standing balance board and a air vibrator. In all honesty, science showed us that these aren't very effective and they probably will just distract you anyways. So he also put them aside. Secondly, Mr. Who's the Boss looked at his sleeping routine. One of the most important things of getting your body in a healthy lean state is sleep. Do not underestimate the power of sleep. So Mr. Who's the Boss did two things. Firstly, he downloaded a sleep tracker app to help him figure out whether he had a good night's rest or not, and which daily habits impacted his sleep quality. Secondly, he got an air purifier, which he said drastically decreased his airway irritation, and according to his sleep tracker, really improved his quality of sleep. Nice! The main purpose behind a good night's rest is to restore the body's hormonal levels again after a long day of hard work and stress. So if you don't sleep well, your body stays in a state of fight or flight. Meaning your body isn't going to prioritize weight loss at all. It's fighting for survival. Survival is at the top of its priority list. So he definitely did a good thing here. Using a tech device to help you improve your sleep can be very beneficial. You even get watches nowadays that are 100% dedicated to monitoring your recovery and your sleep. A worthwhile investment in my opinion. Even the latest Apple watches can do this. I want an Apple watch. Anyways, the third thing Mr. Who's the Boss did was to work with his mind. He used an app called Mindspace to help him pull back focus and gear up to achieve his goals. Also, he always had a full bottle of water nearby. He also tricked his mind into drinking more water by adding a notification on his phone that reminded him to stay hydrated. He also said that you'll be surprised at how much of a difference it makes to just take your water from the tap in the kitchen and bring it to your desk. We are more lazy than we think. The truth is weight loss is about much more than just what we are supposed to eat and how we are supposed to exercise. The battle gets won in your mind. If you can't overcome your mind, you just won't get active and you won't eat right. You have to establish your why first. This video I made on the five habits that completely changed my life speaks about the find your why. Mr. Who's the Boss really employed some very clever tactics and it definitely helped him to totally transform his body. But in all honesty, those were all just minor add-ons. What really helped transform his body was the following. 
My strategy was effectively just to plate myself the original meal that I would have normally had, but then just shift the proportions away from the chips and the rice, more towards the veg and the protein. My number one principle, high protein, low carb diet. He increased his energy expenditure by being more active. That's a win. Just like that, he shifted his body from an energy saving machine to an energy using machine. Probably making him a thousand percent more productive. And I can promise you, he feels like a new person, ready to take the world on again. I think what you and I should remember, however, is that it's totally possible to lose weight without throwing tons of money in the direction of tech. Yes, smartwatches help you track your activity levels and standing desks like these help you increase your daily energy expenditure. But these are all just add-ons. Most of them are just gimmicks anyways, which companies use to convince you to buy their products. A good meal plan which is followed consistently and a properly programmed workout plan can change your life. If you're a ticket like myself and you have the money, enjoy it. But it's not needed, I promise. Anyways, I'll see you in my next video, Mondays, Wednesdays, sometimes even Fridays. All right, remember to be active. Cheers.